Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the characteristics of enhancement mode and MOS transistor. So, we can understand the operation of the NMOS transistor in the enhancement mode and as well as in the depletion mode. Once if we know the complete characteristics, that means what should be the voltage and in which region the transistor is going to be operated. Generally, we know there are three different regions that any transistor can operate uh, like a cutoff region, saturation region and active region. Okay, normally if you are taking a bipolar junction transistor, these are the three regions, cutoff region, active region and saturation region. But for the MOS transistor, for MOS transistor, there are three different regions. One is cutoff region, another one is saturation region. And third one is linear region, linear region or we can also say resistive region, resistive region or we can also say it is a non-saturation region, non-saturation region. Okay, so these are the three different regions that a MOS transistor can going to be operated can be operated depending upon the application of voltage. Cutoff region means the transistor is completely in off state. It is simply acting as an open circuit. Okay, there is no connection between input and output. Saturation region is nothing but uh, depending upon the applied voltage like VDS, the transistor enters into the saturation. Even if you increase the voltage, the current will not increase. The current goes saturated, nothing but it becomes constant. Okay, even if you increase the voltage, current will not increase. That is the region called saturation region. Linear region or resistive region or a non-saturation region, nothing. But in this region, the, sim the transistor simply acts like a resistor where the voltage increases and as well as current also increases. So that means the current is proportional to the applied voltage. Okay. And we know there are two different modes of the transistor enhancement mode and as well as the depletion mode in enhancement mode only we are having the characteristics of this uh, different characteristics so we are going to study the characteristics of the mass transistor for the enhancement mode because in the depletion mode the transistor is not going to depend upon the input voltage vgs for the depletion mode the channel is already created so there is no impact on the vg of the vgs on the transistor we know there are Two voltages are required. Two voltages are needed. They are VGS and another one is VDS. VGS is to create to create channel. So in order to create the channel, what should be the minimum voltage required? Okay, will it give one volt? 2 volt, 3 volt, how much we need to give? Okay, I will tell you. Next, VDS is nothing but to flow the current. To flow the current. That means electrons are going to be have a movement from source to drain if you apply the VDS voltage. Because of the VDS voltage, the electron will move. Okay, that is the voltage required to make a movement or a, uh, energize the electron to move from source to drain so that the current will move from drain to source. And this gate to channel voltage is to create the channel, gate to source voltage is to create the channel, but what should be the voltage, minimum voltage we need to give? That is the threshold voltage. Minimum voltage required is nothing but threshold voltage indicated by vt or vth okay so that is the minimum voltage required to create the channel so if vgs is greater than or equal to vt then channel is created clear now let us see what are the different uh, structures of this mass transistor channel depending upon the voltage see this is the mass transistor structure when there is no application of vgs and VG, there is no vds so a mass transistor mass transistor when 
VGS is equal to 0 and VDS also equal to 0. VGS equal to 0 means there is no channel and VDS is equal to 0 means no current. That's why it is a simple transistor structure and no channel is there between source and drain and no current flow. Okay, once channel is not there, even if you apply VDS in this case, VGS equal to 0, keeping VGS equal to 0, even if you apply VDS, there is no current flow because of the no creation of the channel. Okay, this is the first case. Now, let us see the second case where the gate to source voltage is just greater than VDS, sorry, just greater than VT, just greater than VT. What do you mean by this one? When VGS is greater than VT threshold voltage, channel is created. Channel created because of the condition satisfied that the minimum required gate to source voltage is VGS is must be, VGS must be greater than threshold voltage. Okay, it is greater than or equal to threshold voltage. Here we have taken greater than threshold voltage. That means the channel is created. See the channel. Channel is existed between two n regions, two n plus regions, or we can say between the source and as well as drain. Between source and drain, a channel is created. Previously there was no channel. See the difference. Previously there was no channel, and now there exists a channel between source and drain. But what about the flow of current? Is there any current flow? Is there any current flow? I equal to 0. No current flow. No current. Okay, why it is no current? Because VDS equal to 0. I told you two voltages are there, VGS and VDS. VGS is responsible for the creation of channel, which is satisfied here. But VDS is equal to 0. We have not given any drain to source voltage. That's why current is equal to 0. Okay, even the path is there, there is no movement of the electron between source and drain. Okay, we have given a path by the application of gate to source voltage. But now, no current flow because of VDS is equal to 0. Coming to the second case, third case, VGS is greater than VT, nothing but channel is created. Channel created. But what about VDS now? VDS now we have given VGS minus VT. VGS minus VT. What is this VGS minus VT? Why it is VGS minus VT? VGS minus VT is known as effective, effective gate voltage. VGS minus VT is known as effective gate voltage. Why it is effective gate voltage? Okay, we are applying a voltage which is VGS. We are applying a voltage which is VGS. What is VT? VT is the threshold voltage. Okay, let us consider VGS is equal to 5 volts and VT equal to 1 volt. VGS equal to 5 volt, VT equal to 1 volt. What is VT? VT is the minimum voltage required to create the channel. Minimum voltage required to create the channel. So, 1 volt is taken for the creation of channel. And in this 5 volts of VGS, remaining 4 volts has influence on the channel. Okay. So, this is the effective voltage. If you remove this 5 volts and for 1 volt, that means 1 volt from this 5 volts, that 4 volts is the effective gate voltage which is having the complete remaining influence on the channel. But that 1 volt is taken out because of uh, for the creation of the channel so that's why it is known as effective gate voltage okay if you remove that additional voltage required to create the channel the remaining voltage is called effective gate voltage so now vds is less than effective gate voltage then what happens channel is created because vgs is greater than vt and current will also flow so in this mode in this condition Channel is created, channel is created and current will also flow, current also flows because there exists a channel between these two and as well as we have given a sufficient VDS voltage which is less than effective gate voltage, 
which is less than f to gate voltage see the structure see channel is created and a narrow path is there and because through that path current is flowing electrons are moving from source to drain so that, that so that the current is moving from drain to source now let us see another case the fourth case where vgs is greater than vt nothing but channel is created channel created but what about this second condition with respect to the drain to source voltage we have taken the condition vds is greater than vgs minus vt which is nothing but effect to gate voltage effect to gate voltage indicated by vg okay effect to gate voltage also indicated by vg we can call it as vg okay here it is also vg that means vds is greater than vg when the gate to, sorry drain to source voltage is greater than effect to gate voltage that simply breaks the channel which is between drain and source and the transistor simply enters into pinch off region transistor enters into pinch off region as the channel has broken between source and drain as the channel is broken the current will not flow whatever the current has been flown that simply becomes constant and there will be no further improvement in the current even if you increase the vds voltage okay so in this condition in this condition channel is created and as vds is greater than effect to gate voltage channel breaks down and mos enters into mos device or transistor enters into enters into pinch off region transistor enters into pinch off region where there is no current improvement no current improvement that means transistor enters into we can say saturation region transistor enters into saturation region okay so if you draw all these characteristics together in va characteristics of this mos transistor this will be the result see vds we have taken on the x axis drain to source voltage with respect to the current id on the y axis now when vg is less than vt when vgs is less than vt has nothing but gate to source voltage is less than the threshold voltage then there is no channel that's why transistor simply enters into cut off region that's why it is in off state this is the cut off region cut off region now we have given sufficient vgs voltage which is greater than vt for all these above conditions vgs is greater than vt where the channel is created now coming to the vds voltage vds is if vds is less than vgs minus vt nothing but effect to gate voltage then the transistor is operated in a re linear region or resistive region or we can say non saturation region okay triode region we can say a linear region non saturation region or a resistive region where the trans where the current increases with respect to the applied voltage so that's why all these characteristics are having improvement in the current see current increases with respect to the applied voltage but how long it will take until and unless vds is greater than vgs minus vt so at this condition we can say vds is equal to vgs minus vt okay when vds is slowly increased and touches this point vgs minus vt at this condition transistor enters into saturation region so beyond that voltage even if you increase the voltage the current will not increase that's why current becomes constant see all these characteristics are having constant currents as the vds increases more than vgs minus vt then the transistor simply enters into saturation region which is also known as active region okay these are the characteristics of nmos transistor which is in the enhancement mode which is in the 
and has spin mode depletion mode characteristics are different which are in opposite case because vgs is not required there okay initially channel is created so maximum current is there but as long as the vds voltage increases current becomes decreases okay if you are taking a depletion mode characteristics i will take these are the enhancement mode and mass characteristics enhancement mode and mass sorry n mass enhancement mode transistor suppose if you are taking a depletion mode characteristics depletion mode characteristics they will be like this this is the voltage vds and this is the current i or ids initially vds is not required and vg sorry vgs is not required so maximum current flow is there channel is already created but as vds increases what happens slowly current decreases these are the characteristics of depletion mode transistor okay initially it is having maximum current and slowly slowly decreases towards the zero okay opposite is the case with the enhancement mode transistor okay so these are the characteristics of enhancement mode and depletion mode transistors in the next class i will start the fabrication of nmos and pmos transistors thank you